How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza 2004 once again. It's time for another Torben Tuesday Clues post. Every month, Playground Games post a picture of them at work on Twitter a week before every update, and it contains clues and information about the update. They don't make anything too obvious, they just leave it to us to figure out, and then a week later they tell us if you know, they show us the information about the update. So today is Torben Tuesday. Today we have another image full of clues about next week's update. And in today's video, we're going to have a look at that image, go through it, have a look at the clues and see what we may be getting next week in update 15. Usually, as I said, once these pictures are posted onto Twitter by Playground Games, it only takes people maybe an hour or so to figure most of the things out in the image. And by then, the reply section is full of all the answers. However, this week, no one's really figured anything out. As of right now, when I'm making this video, the reply section is very... There's not much information about it. No one seems to have figured anything out about this image. No one can crack it. However, I have managed to figure something out. And I believe I may know what all of the new cars are going to be that are coming next week. So if you're watching this video, you'll be with me, one of the only people to know about what new cars we might be getting. By the time this video is released, someone else might have figured this out as well. However, for the time being, let me tell you what I've found. I'm going to go over the whole image and then show you exactly what is confirmed. So first of all, there's the monitors, as you can see. On the right hand monitor, there is a uh, the scientific calculator by the looks of it. And then there is a graph. I don't know what that could mean. No one else seems to know what it could mean. And then in the middle monitor, there are some pine trees by the looks of it with a barn. Again, I'm not sure what this could mean. Someone said it could be a Back to the Future reference and so maybe we're getting a DeLorean. No idea. It's just an absolutely random suggestion. And then on the left hand monitor, we have a local motors auction house search with an S1 Rally Monsters preset. Could this mean maybe we're getting a local motors rally monster S1 car? I have no idea. To put it short, while I'm making this video, no one has a clue what any of these monitors could mean. I don't either. The numbers on the board are what I've managed to crack. Now, one thing I do need to mention, if you go, if you've been on Twitter recently, you may have seen the Bugatti Divo is confirmed for Forza Horizon 4. Playground Games posted this picture on Twitter, which is very clearly the uh, the Bugatti Divo. So I'm not sure if we're really supposed to know this, but we know that the Bugatti Divo, if that's how you pronounce it, is coming to Forza Horizon 4. So as I said, I stared at these numbers on the board for ages, got my calculator out, I tried to figure things out, I tried to do all I could, because no one else managed to figure anything out, so I had to. And I managed to find this. As I said, the Bugatti Divo is already confirmed. And if we have a look on the board, we can see the Bugatti Divo's stats. These top three numbers here, 8, 488 and 1103, directly hint towards a Bugatti Divo. Because number 8, 8 litres, the Bugatti Divo has 8 litres. 488, this is the cubic inches of the car. 1103. This is exactly how many kilowatts the Bugatti Divo has. If you go to the Bugatti Divo Wikipedia page, you will see that the power output is 1103, the same on the board. The engine is an 8 litre, 488 cubic inches, exactly like on the board. So from this information, I know that these red numbers are telling us the horsepower and the engine capacity of every new car we're getting this month. So we know the first three are hinting towards the Bugatti Divo. Now the other three are the other three cars. And I believe I've figured them all out. The next three numbers are 3, 181 and 379. This would mean that this car is a 3 litre car with 379 kilowatts, which is about 500 and something horsepower, 508, I think. So what I did is I spent ages looking around on Google for a supercar that had a three liter engine, 181 cubic meters, cubic inches, sorry, and that was 379 kilowatts. And I found this, the Rossian Q1. Now, this is the only car I could find that has a three liter engine, 181 cubic meters, cubic inches, sorry, bleh, and that has 
590 horsepower, also known as 379 kilowatts. This directly matches all of the stats on the board. Now, the Noble M400, the Noble M12, and the Noble M15 are also very similar to this, so it could be one of these instead, but I believe that it's the Rossigan Q1 that we're getting as well. That leaves us with two more cars to find. That means the third one down would be a 4.4 litre car, 593 kilowatts, which is 795 horsepower. Now this is where it gets weird. I cannot find any car anywhere that has 795 horsepower with a 4.4 liter engine. However, I can find a 795 horsepower car with a four liter engine. So for these last two here, I think Forza have flipped them. I think they've decided to swap them around a bit to foolers, but I still know what they are. There is a car out there that has 593 kilowatts with a 292 cubic inches displacement thing, and that is the Koenigsegg CCR. In the game, we have the CCX and CT8S, but we don't have the Koenigsegg CCR. Now, if you convert 292 cubic inches to liters, it gives you 4.7, and the Koenigsegg CCR has a 4.7 litre engine. So this to me confirms, or possibly confirms, that the third car is the Koenigsegg CCR. Which leaves us one more, which believes to be a four litre engine, 269 cubic inches, with a 331 kilowatt engine. Now at this point I was stuck. I struggled with the last two, so I hit up Shiny Odd. I went in a call with Shiny Odd on Discord, and we spent, I think it was literally hours, trying to figure this out and he managed to find this last one. We could only find one car which has 331 kilowatts with a four liter engine, and that was the BMW M3 GTS. If you have a look on screen right now, we can see, as I said, they flipped the two around to flippers, so technically it's a 4.4 liter engine, 269 cubic inches, and 331 kilowatts. Directly matches what's in this image. So I'm going to say right now, my predictions for this update are the Bugatti Divo, the Rossian Q1, the Koenigsegg CCR, and the BMW M3 GTS. Now I could be wrong on some of these, I could be completely out, they may have mixed them all up, I don't know. Honestly, one of the most important things that people care about in each update are the new cars, and considering we may have cracked all of them, there may be some extra new cars, and these may be the only ones I've entered at, but we may have cracked all of the new cars. It's pretty impressive. <clears throat> now, honestly, other than the new cars, I can't figure anything else out with this update feature-wise. I'm not going to sit here and try and guess and waste your time. I wanted to focus on the things that we were really keen on, such as all of the um, new cars. So if people manage to figure anything out feature-wise, or even more cars from this, I'll make another video, but for now, I believe this is all anybody knows about this clue and this image, that we may be getting four new cars, the Koenigsegg, the Bugatti, the Rossian, and the BMW. I forgot half of them then. So please do let me know in the comment section below what you reckon. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Personally, I honestly think I'm right. It adds up perfectly. And yeah, we'll have to see what happens next week. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Fort Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all later. Oh, 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 oh,